because they told me here. So. so you've met everybody now, and you can also have some wine. Why if are you guys like. so far away yeah. from me? <laughs> it's about you and yeah. I, I mean, know. Know. <laughs> um, Okay, but yes, thank you. Cheers to that. Cheers to <laughs> I don't know. I'm a real friend. friend. Thank you. I'm not gonna leave you thank hanging. You. Oh well, now I, I feel like I have to <laughs> plink Come before back. I do it or bad luck or something. So. <laughs> Hello? Okay, so you were just 12 when you started performing. That's yes. crazy. Yes. Like, is it, how has life changed since then, obviously? Were you, was it kind of crazy hard when you were 12? I mean, I don't remember much before that. Oh, wow. You know? Yeah. 12, yeah. 10, yeah. You know yeah. what? I don't either. When people right. ask about your child, I don't remember yeah, a lot. Do you remember when you were like 11? Not really. Yeah. yeah. Mid moments. <laughs> moments, the ones that you maybe write songs about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, what kind of music did you grow up with? I grew up listening to actually Lauren, a lot of powerful female artists. Yeah. Including you, oh, obviously. Um, the first album I bought was Lauren Hill's album. <gasps> Miss Education. Yes. Yes. Oh. So good. Classic. Yes. That was one of my favorite. I yeah. bought that for myself and, you know, Beyonce's first album, Erica Badu, yeah. Missy Elliott, Lil' Kim. Wow. So, yes, very strong woman. I know you like a yeah. strong woman. I like that too. <laughs> That's cool. Me too. I love it. What did y'all grow up? What did you grow up with in Mexico City? What was real big whenever you were growing up? Uh, uh, pop music. Well, we had a lot of influence from the U.S., a lot. Yeah. But uh, we also hear, uh, like, uh, uh, my, my, well, my actual wife, she's a pop singer in Mexico. In very so that's popular. what you got to say her then. Don't so not what? say her. Her. <laughs> <laughs> my wife. This is the cue where you say her. <laughs> her. Her. Alessandra Rosaldo. Oh, that's so cool. That's awesome. <laughs> what did you listen to growing up? Everything. Girl, everything. Me too. I mean, Lauren Hill to the Fugees yeah. to like, I mean, to like. Annie Lennox, Motown. Bonnie, right? Yeah, yeah, any, stuff, yeah. Everyone oh. and everyone. Aretha. Michelle, yeah. Everyone. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we all like such cool people when we were younger to listen to. Yeah. I don't know. Does everybody Lucky. feel like that? I yeah. don't know. Um, so, well, John Malkovich is on your album. I find yes, that crazy. Yes. How, what kind of happenstance was that, that he ended up on your album? So Pete Berg invited me to be a part of his movie called Mile 22. And yeah. we were acting together. And, you know, whenever time off we had, he was just talking about his stories from theater and yeah. connected. And he's my mentor now here. Aww. I love that. Yes. He's like yes. one of my favorite actors. He is the best. He yeah. Is yeah. Um, and this is even more random. Mike, it was, is it true that Mike Tyson was an inspiration for this album? Yeah. <laughs> Please tell me how. You know, he's doing these podcasts these days. I'm a fan of him to start oh, with. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, and I was just going through his podcasts and some of the things he said, things like before hmm. I, you know, fight, how he feels, I connected to that. Oh, <laughs> do you see the stage as a boxing arena? <laughs> uh, you know, I think it's just about the gap between, you know, the emotions you use on stage and yeah. off stage. Yeah, do you kind of become, my mother always laughs at me because mm -hmm. she's like, I can tell, it's like literally right when I finish the song, mm -hmm. then I become like the bubbly yes. me off stage. Yes. But during the exactly song, I'm like very in the zone. Yeah. You like that as well? Yes. We all have a Sasha Fierce. We are we all we do, all and that's what Alpha fears. is about, or yeah. my album, so. I love that, is yeah. that why you titled it that? Yes. I yes. love yes. that. Yes. Is that where you feel the most powerful? Like in, like. On stage. Yeah. I call, like, I'm a performer, so love that's it. where I feel comfortable, and that's what I love doing. Yeah. yeah, I love your vibe. I was watching while I was getting ready today, and I was watching rehearsals, and I was like, you oh did. my god. I did, I was watching, and I was like, I was like, oh my gosh, and all the dancers, it's so cool. It's yes, very, very I had cool. Fun doing it. And I love it, too, because it starts off, and you're like, I don't want to run it. Anyway, I like, <laughs> I like the whole performance. Um, but you. you went to the, speaking of like how artistic you looked, you went to the Met Gala this year. Was that so yes, much fun? Yes, I did. It yeah. was, I love playing dress up, so I had fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you enjoy it. Yes, okay. I love doing it. I love, I love, yes. This is, by the way, I'm from Texas, so this is so Texan. The this is like how Texans Americana, go. So, oh, okay. yes, that's why that there was a jeans and you know the I was wearing wow. underwear. I love it. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> I was <laughs> Good for you. Underwear. Underwear. No, that was, not. <laughs> no, that was a part of the dress. But yeah. 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 Um, but it was cool because I heard it's an Asian designer, right? Yes, it was Alexander Wang. That's and cool. you know, it yeah. did not look like that in the beginning, but I wanted to make sure I melt my culture in there. So yeah. we had to change it in 24 hours. We, he made a completely new dress. And wow. the bow is actually a traditional Korean. Yeah. That's cool though. Oh. I think that's 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 my favorite kind of art where it's like you do take something that somebody makes but then you mm -hmm. personalize it. Yes. Like that's the like people covering songs. That's like yes, my favorite yes. thing they do. That's where the yeah. magic happens. I yeah, think. yeah. That's so cool. I love that you're into it all. That's cool. <laughs> um, well, you're performing um, your song Lover Like Me. So what's that one about other than maybe possibly being a lover like you? Oh. <laughs> well, it's, you know, I'm just talking to my ex. 
Oh, I love that. Telling him, yeah. you will never ever find a lover like me. Yeah. <laughs> I, love, I love that kind of empowering statement. Especially if you're like after a breakup and you've like so many people are gonna relate to that message. Yeah, yeah. it's just like, you know, time, when you're brushing it off. Yeah. Listen to that song, you'll be like, yes. Yeah. Yes. I love you. <laughs>